you mentioned that um, the time series and cross sections are the same, but in terms of actually testing this, how would you write out the regression equations that you would be testing? Yeah, let's be a little bit clearer about that. Uh, here was where I stated the theorem, that, uh, and I, I called that an instrument in a time series regression or a cross-sectional regression. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you could do it. Uh, this might be the clearest, uh, for, for right now, the clearest example of testing it using the time series. So I have a discount factor model, and this just says, I, I make a time series regression. Can I predict the discounted return? And, and if my discount factor is correct, I shouldn't be able to predict the discount return. So you're clear what I mean by a time series yes. thing. Yes. And the way we typically do that is, is we first forecast returns, and then we see whether the model removes that forecastability. So it's really about can I forecast returns, and it very much a regression context. Right. Now think about the cross-sectional thing. Uh, from this inspiration, what you might do is form, so RE times Z is a portfolio return. When Z is a big number, if Z is two, I put $2 in. If Z is three, I put $3 in, right? So it's an amount of money invested in that portfolio. E of MR, we could, we could de demystify it by writing it as E of R E T plus one times Z T, that's the portfolio return. Is that equal to, you know, we'll have some beta times lambda, uh, which is, you know, whatever, corresponding to the factor pricing model. So a pure, Fama French style cross-sectional regression okay. would be the cross-sectional way of, of handling exactly the same question is does our discount factor uh, uh, correctly include this conditioning information uh, in asset pricing? Okay.